My surroundings whirled sickeningly, and I found myself transported safely away from the ambush to an adjacent chamber. Janos had delivered me from the Saraphan, selflessly forfeiting his own safety to preserve my life. And now I feared that my newfound mentor would be slaughtered by the very crusaders I had so recently revered. The irony pierced me, and with dawning horror, I realized that I had been duped by Mobius from the beginning, for the Saraphan had simply followed the path I gullibly blazed through this sanctuary, and had arrived bearing Mobius' staff. Thus armed, they had Janos at their mercy. Through the door, I could hear them battling, less than a dozen paces away. But it may as well have been a thousand miles, for this barrier was sealed by elemental forces I did not possess. It seemed Janos had conveyed me into the heart of the Fire Shrine. I thought perhaps if I could galvanize the forge and imbue the Reaver in time, I might have a slim chance of saving Janos from his grisly fate.
plunge the reaver into that furnace and forge the blade with elemental fire. With the reaver thus imbued, I was now armed to unlock the elemental barrier and rescue Janos from his executioners. Forgive me. I'm sorry. I failed you. <sighs> no, Razia. Perhaps this was my true purpose. Simply to save your life this once. While I have taken yours. Em embrace your destiny, Razia. <laughs> you must reclaim the river. <laughs> It was forged for you, and you alone. Without it, there is no hope. As I backed away from Janos's body, I was overwhelmed by a sense of self-loathing so deep I could barely contain it. In that instant, I rejected all that I ever was and embraced the role Janos had safeguarded for me so patiently throughout the centuries. I knew then what I had to do, the task for which I was uniquely prepared. I would pursue the Seraphim dogs to their loathsome fortress and avenge Janos Wardren's murder. Mobius would pay dearly for his treachery, and my Seraphim brethren would reap the horrors they had sown. I would retake the stolen reaver, which was rightfully mine. And finally, when all these debts had been paid, I would reclaim Janos Wardren's heart from their filthy, unworthy hands. If the heart was truly imbued with the power to restore vampiric unlife, its highest purpose was clear to me. I would restore the heart to Janos, and thus undo the vile crime committed by my abominable former self. These demonic pests were not merely the product of Nosgoth's corrupted future, for here they were, hurtling back over five centuries to pursue me. These creatures, I suspected, were minions of the unseen forces that had hoped to control me. 
This was the tangible expression of their displeasure. These demons were unleashed as the penalty for my disobedience.
Failed me, Raziel. I wonder, old one. Did you truly resurrect me, or were you simply there when I awakened from my torment in the abyss? I suspect you found me merely convenient, dropped in your lair by Cain, indestructible for some reason, a durable and gullible tool for you to manipulate. 
This one thing I readily admit. I have been used by others time and again, but always I seem to stray from their path. What is it about me, demon, that makes me such an unreliable instrument? Why do I survive one trial after another, on and on, in an endless succession of humiliating deaths and resurrections? It seems there is much more to my destiny and my history than I know. Perhaps more than you know as well.
Seize him! I discovered the reaver suspiciously laid across my path. Again, I sensed nothing of that temporal distortion, the peculiar sense of displacement I had felt when I encountered the reaver in William's chapel. Cornered here with the blade, I suffered the same nameless dread that I had experienced when Janos first presented the reaver to me. I felt at once repelled by the blade, and yet overwhelmingly compelled to seize it. So, Raziel, here we are, finally. You have no choice but to confront me now, and I am not so foolish as I've let you believe. We have business to conclude. You knew I would lead the Seraphan to Janos, you vile bastard. You've been orchestrating my every move. <laughs> My destiny is an amusement to you. It was fun while it lasted. I think not, Raziel. Malik, do not let this creature leave. He poses a danger to the circle. Poor, deluded Raziel. Did you somehow imagine you had the guile to change history on me? I'm the time streamer. I knew your every intention before you did, you imbecile. Call your dogs! They can feast on your corpses! Lord Mobius, there is trouble within. The circle is under Hold attack. fast, Malik. This one is the real danger to us. What are you trying to concoct here, Mobius? You toxic creature. Did you imagine I'd simply allow you to run loose, corrupting everything you encounter? I admit that I've underestimated you to this point, Mobius. It's a mistake I won't repeat. Wrong again, Raziel. Now, Mac, bolt the door. Using his staff to disable my wraith blade, Mobius effectively disarmed me, leaving me with only one choice of weapon. And yet I confess, it was not the lack of options, but blind rage that made me take up the Reaver. In my fury, it felt as though my hand had acted of its own will. And now, that same hand clutched the hilt with unyielding strength, and I felt a constrained tingling, a remote but palpable sense of longing as the disabled wraith blade tried vainly to embrace its physical twin. these two as my former brethren, in life as Seraphan, and in unlife as Cain's vampire sons, Melchiah and Zephon, the weakest of Cain's brood. 
These bastards had no idea what future lay in store for them. How they would become the very thing they so despised. The Reaver hummed with ravenous anticipation. Janos had called it a vampiric blade, endowed with the power to drain its victims of their lifeblood. I was eager to see what the Reaver would do to these two. Zephon fell before my blade. I felt the Reaver's bloodthirst as keenly as I ever had when I was still a vampire. I could sense the boundary between us dissolving. The Reaver was consumed with my rage, and I was intoxicated by its bloodlust. The blade had a vitalizing effect on me. My physical energy no longer decayed over time, and the wounds inflicted by my foes healed almost instantly. The Reaver had made me invincible. The Reaver exerted some mysterious power over me. It sustained my energy, enabling me to prolong my physical manifestation indefinitely. In fact, bonded to the blade as I was, I could no longer shift into the spirit realm at will, nor was I able to summon the Reaver's twin, for my wraith blade had been disabled in the confrontation with Mobius. to reclaim the monster's black heart. You'll have to get to us first. My former brethren, Duma and Rahab, confronted me next. This all seemed so elegantly choreographed. Exhilarated by the Reaver, I was drunk with revelations. I could finally appreciate the delicious irony of Cain's blasphemous private joke and I reveled as I colluded with him across the centuries. For it was I who put these bastards in their tomb, thus providing the corpses for Cain to raise as his vampire sons a millennium from now.
had taken it up. Inescapably joined. The harder I tried to release the blade, the more tightly my hand gripped the hilt, as if possessed of its own will. was my brother Turel, who along with Duma would bear me into the abyss without questioning Cain's command. So dutiful and righteous, even as a vampire. I guess some habits die hard. The vampire Turel had eluded my vengeance. The Saraphan Turel would not. For me, you'll find I'm not such easy prey. I don't want to kill you, but I will if I must. Return the heart to me, and we can end this now. So, you've come to avenge that filthy parasite and reclaim his foul heart. You're a righteous fiend, aren't you? Apparently, I am. No, vampire. This is where it ends. But you won't be leaving this room. Now, let's finish this. I'll make it mercifully quick. As you did for Janos? <laughs> no, that beast had eluded us for far too long. It would have been a shame to end him too quickly. It's ironic, really. The great Janos Ordrin turned out to be no challenge at all. Thanks to you. Did you hear his cowardly screams when I tore that black heart out of his carcass?
so it ends. My history comes full circle. Sensing its twin, the wraith blade uncoiled itself from me, and instead wound lovingly around its former self. I felt its grip loosen, and as the blade left me, its absence chilled me more than its presence ever had. A foreboding sense of emptiness and loss stole over me, and a terrible revelation gathered like a storm at the edge of my awareness. With all other foes exhausted, the conjoined blades turned themselves on me, and I realized, finally, why I had sensed nothing when Janos offered me the blade. The Reaver was never forged to be a soul-stealing weapon. The ravenous, soul-devouring entity trapped in the blade was, and always had been, me. This is why the blade was destroyed when Cain tried to strike me down. The Reaver could not devour its own soul. The paradox shattered the blade. So, this was my terrible destiny. To play out this purgatorial cycle for all eternity. I could not bear it. Despair overwhelmed me. You. Are you enjoying this game? Oh. Don't fight it, Raziel. Give in to it. Was this your destiny for me all along? Trust me. I felt myself weakening, unable to hold on any longer. The Reaver was too strong, the compulsion to simply let go, too great. And then, a growing sense of vertigo and the familiar displacement. The paradoxical moment when my twinned soul hovered both outside and inside the Reaver Blade. This was the instant, the glimmer of temporal distortion Cain had been counting on all along. This was the edge of the coin, the minute flicker of probability upon which Cain had gambled everything. <laughs> Now you are free to reclaim your true destiny, Raziel. Behind Cain's eyes, I could see new memories blooming and dying as history labored to reshuffle itself around this monumental obstruction. And I could see by the dawning horror on his face that perhaps we had strained history too far this time. That by trying to alter my fate, he may have introduced a fatal paradox. My god. The Hilden! We walked right into their trap. Raziel, Janos must stay dead. But Cain's warning was lost as I slipped into the spirit realm, too weak to maintain my physical form. And there... Waiting for me, as always, was the Reaver, the Wraith Blade, my own soul, twinned and bound eternally to me. And I realized that I could never escape my terrible destiny. I had merely postponed it. History abhors a paradox.